welcome to another uh, short demonstration this is a painting I did a while back it's on the channel it's a cabin by the river and uh, when I did this painting uh, we ran out of time I was planning to put a uh, rail fence along the river but uh, the video got too long and I stopped added a chimney to the painting to the for the cabin and uh, that's on the channel right now um, if you want to watch see how I did that and uh, in this video I'm going to put a rail fence along here not all the way to the foreground just along this segment of the of the riverbank and um, I thought I could bring you along and show you how I do it it's not going to be too complicated we just have to be mindful of the of the perspective the relative height of the post to the home or to the cabin so I'm gonna go ahead and use a small round brush I'm gonna use um, some black and brown I have some black over here and some burnt umber and as I said um, uh, we have to be mindful of the height as we move to the distance they're going to be smaller and as we move to the foreground a little bit larger and I'm going to just bring them up to here I'm not going to go all the way so I'm going to start with the largest one and I'm going to put one here now these are old you know post old rail fence you don't want them to be straight I'm gonna give them some character and they're gonna be covered with snow it's a snow scene so something like that maybe this one a bit taller and as we move in the distance they're gonna get narrower and smaller that's perfectly normal with perspective this could be a good lesson for perspective as well if you are um, a beginner artist you got to be mindful of these little things now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the runners I'm gonna bring them over and I'm not gonna paint them straight lines and give this wood some character and maybe the next one runs below it uh, just like that and we can even give some some of these things some impression that for example maybe one is broken extra character and that one just like that so that's the base code now we're gonna switch the colors we're gonna bring in some ultramarine blue some white to indicate the impression of snow on this uh, rail fence so it would make sense in the whole scheme of uh, snow scene so I have uh, ultramarine blue and some white ultramarine blue phthalo blue you could use either just be mindful that they are very strong they eat up your white very quickly 
so just use tiny bit and I'm gonna mix that for the shadow color of the snow so we're gonna come here and create some snow over here and on the runners as well And just gonna go ahead, just tap. You don't have to cover the whole thing. You can leave some spots. And we don't appreciate much details in the the one in the back this one is gonna get a bit more snow broken one and with that ultramarine blue and white we're gonna come here and at the bottom of of this post also create some impression of snow right there so you don't really maybe see the bottom of the post now I'm gonna wash my brush and this time I'm gonna Go ahead and pick up some stray white. And apply some highlights. Maybe here and there on top. Right on this post. Let me know in the comment section if you like these short videos rather you know better than the you know long one hour one hour long videos and some more snow over there it's up to you how much you want to do and just like that we added another element this painting some of you guys mentioned that the cabins don't have chimney now we have a chimney up here we can even highlight the chimney a little bit more I've mentioned uh, before with the previous videos that with acrylic oftentimes you have to apply your highlights in two or three segments it's not like oil the paint is not as vibrant so oftentimes you have to go back and highlight so maybe we can do that while we have, you know painting these fans you know some of the highlights you see for these rocks you can let the the base highlight dry and then go back over it some some more highlights over here maybe a bit down here and just like that you know five minutes ten minutes quickly you can add another element to the painting and just make the painting more interesting I hope you like this short demonstration I hope you found some value in it if you guys prefer these short videos over the 
one hour, one hour and a half long videos, let me know in the comment section. I will make more. As long as you guys watch, I make videos. And uh, I really thank you for tuning to my channel. I thank you for all the likes, all the subscriptions, all the support. And I hope I see you with the next painting. Have fun painting, take care, and be safe. Uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.